हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर रुशाली जाधव कंसल्टेंट ऑब्सटेशन एंड गायनेकोलॉजिस्ट एट मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल खराड़ी पुणे टूडेज टॉपिक इज पोस्ट पार्टम केयर ऑफ न्यू मदर्स बेसिकली अ मदर इज केयर फॉर वेरी मच ड्यूरिंग द एंटी नेटल पीरियड दैट इज ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी सिमिलर केयर शुड ऑल्सो भी एक्सटेंडेड ड्यूरिंग द पोस्ट पार्टम पीरियड दैट इज पोस्ट डिलीवरी वेदर इट्स अ सिजेरन और अ नॉर्मल डिलीवरी अ पेशेंट नीड्स केयर इन बोथ केसेज इन अ सिमिलर फैशन postpartum care involves a lot of things including diet exercise and sleep or rest which the mother hardly gets so it is important for us to take care that the mother is given adequate support by the family members this is not uh, paid attention to or cared for by the family members who are diverted by the uh, new uh, comer or the bundle of joy Uh, which uh, takes the attention of all the family members and the patient is left alone patient needs dietary modifications or a particular diet after delivery so let's concentrate on the diet first the diet of a uh, postpartum patient or a mother or a delivered patient needs to be light but rich in proteins nutrients multivitamins so that it is digested easily the a postpartum period is a period when all the organs of the body are undergoing specific uh, changes or they are trying to revert or get back to the pre-pregnant state that is why the intestine is also weak cannot digest heavy food or uh, things which are uh, not easily digested so uh, there are foods or there are uh, diet charts given to the patient when the patient is discharged so that she follows a particular diet during pre, uh, during the postpartum period this diet helps her recover uh, heal her wounds uh, give her good lactation or her uh, breast milk for the child and uh, helps her recover from in the postpartum period diet should include foods which are rich in proteins minerals multivitamins and water the patient should be uh, told all the time that she dr- needs to drink a lot of water or fluids water does not mean only water it should be rich in electrolytes and salt and sugar the patient needs regular uh, diet at regular intervals every 2 hours or 3 hours she needs to feed herself so that she produces adequate amount of milk and she gets some energy out of the food patient also needs uh, adequate amount of rest rest is not possible for a uh, mother who has just delivered a child because the child needs feeding every 2 hours the mother is supposed to ha- rest or um, sleep when the baby is sleeping at night she needs to get up every 2 hours so that the um, baby is well fed specifically when the baby is exclusively breastfed the mother needs to be breastfeed the baby uh, every 2 hours even during the night time so her night sleep is compromised she needs to take adequate amount of rest during the day when the baby sleeps this is the only time she gets to rest uh, when the baby sleeps uh, patient also needs to hydrate herself which i have already stressed upon uh, there are certain foods which are given in a traditional way those foods are also good uh, uh, and approved by the modern science and so can be given to the patient including the dry fruit laddus and the methi laddus which uh, give her uh, energy as well as a uh, good lactation is promoted the next thing uh, in postpartum care is mental health the patient needs to be supported by her family in every way so that the patient's mental health is stable patient is uh, new to the baby baby is new to the patient the patient needs to adjust to the baby and she needs help in that situation sometimes the baby is feeding is affected sometimes the baby is low birth weight she is worried about everything her own health and the baby's health so the family needs to support her in caring for the baby once she breastfeeds the baby the baby should be burped by a family member so that she gets rest immediately after the feed she needs time to eat her food she needs rest after the baby is fed so if the family members are active in supporting the baby care then the patient can rest so uh, even the mental health uh, is affected when the patient is not attended to or the baby is not 
uh, being taken care of by other family members. She needs to be uh, assured each and every time that she will be able to feed the baby, she will be able to take care of the baby, uh, she will be able to recover from this, whether surgery, whether uh, vaginal delivery, she needs to recover. It takes six weeks or sava mahina to uh, come out uh, of the postpartum state or uh, recover to a pre-pregnant state. So she needs uh, adequate amount of uh, help from all the family members and they should contribute to baby care and patient care and only then the mental health is going to be stable for the mother because the mother is mentally also or emotionally very unstable or liable for going into postpartum depression or postpartum blues uh, which is a local term uh, used for postpartum depression. Uh, postpartum depression is uh, not very common but yes uh, these days when the um, parents are all alone uh, not having any other family members with them probably have to struggle a lot to take care of the baby and therefore maybe the patient is not being attended by the um, uh, partner so well and the patient needs to understand in this situation that she needs to talk. She needs to express herself, she needs to tell all her problems to the partner or her doctor or whoever she feels comfortable to. The patient needs to talk. It's the only way out to not go into postpartum depression or to diagnose it at a very early stage before she harms herself or the baby. So postpartum depression uh, can be tackled very easily. Uh, by the patient by telling her to talk out or speak out her problems to her family members or to her doctor whoever she is comfortable with but she needs to speak everything out so that nothing is kept to herself and she does not keep on bothering uh, on her own. So this is one of the important aspect of postpartum care that along with physical uh, health even the mental health is uh, as important. Postpartum care also needs some amount of exercise or light exercise which is told to her by the physiotherapist attending her in the hospital. Patients need to know what kind of exercise or what kind of activity they need to do on a daily basis to recover as early as possible or to recover in a healthier way. Every hospital has a protocol which says the physiotherapist attends the patient and tells her on discharge what exercises need to be done on a regular basis for the first few days. When the patient comes for a follow-up, even then she needs to visit the physiotherapist to know what all exercises she needs to add in her daily routine. These exercises are generally lighter, heavy weight lifting is not allowed. After two to three months, she may be allowed to do active abdominal exercises or muscle strengthening exercises so that she regains her strength. This is all about postpartum care and I hope all the mothers are uh, well aware of this and if not, the family members should make her aware of this. Uh, that is all from my side. Thank you.